Ask Firebase 12, take one. Hey YouTube, welcome to Ask Firebase, the weekly show where we answer all of your Firebase questions. I'm your host, David East. Just kidding, I'm not David East. My name is Mike McDonald, and I am an iOS developer and product manager on Firebase Storage. I like building embedded hardware and long walks on the beach. This week on hashtag Ask Firebase, we're talking about the Firebase real-time database and securing your app from malicious intruders. And if you're interested in more, join me, David East, Mike McDonald, at the Firebase Summit in Berlin on November 7th, where we'll talk about all of the exciting new things the Firebase team has been working on. See the link in the description to learn more. Now, onto our first question. Ian from Twitter asks, how different is hashtag Firebase from a NoSQL DB like MongoDB? Great question, Ian. There are many different kinds of NoSQL databases. You have key value stores like Redis, you have document collection databases like Mongo, you have columnar stores like BigQuery. The Firebase real-time database is another kind of database. We're a JSON database. We treat all of your data like a big blob of JSON in the sky, designed for syncing data back and forth with lightning speed. This means it's super easy to integrate real-time data into your web or mobile app, since they probably already take JSON. And the Firebase real-time database is fully hosted, so you don't have to manage your own servers, administer a database, or get paged at two in the morning when it goes down. Unfortunately, it means that some other aspects, like complex queries or aggregation, aren't supported. Thanks for the great question, Ian. We've had a number of questions on security this week. Sarun on Twitter asks, how to set a rule to let users access only their data, but allow admins to see all data? Great question, Sarun. In your database security rules, you can write read rules that and or or different security expressions together. For instance, one expression can be allow a user to access her data, and another expression can be allow all admins to access everyone's data. You can or those two expressions and get the rule that you want. If you want to learn more, take a look at our database security rules doc linked in the description below. Thanks, Sarun. Let's take a look at the next question. Juan Carlos from Twitter wanted to know, what are the security risks of publishing my API key? How do I encrypt or decrypt it in an Angular open source project? Well, Juan Carlos, you'll be happy to know there aren't any risks, and there's no need to encrypt your client-side code. Your API key is basically just a friendly way of naming which project you're using, so we can go ahead and route requests appropriately. It's like if you were to go and call your friend, except their name is A-I-Z-A-S-Y-C-A-S-D-F some, something or other, I don't know. Firebase authentication, as well as our backend security measures, like the real-time database security rules and Firebase storage security rules, are what prevents unauthorized access to your resources. Great question, though. Thanks, Juan Carlos. Next question. Loco Alien on Twitter is wondering, how to prevent a user from a website based on Firebase to look at the source code created in JavaScript from a web browser? Well, welcome to client-side programming. The problem with building a web app is that anyone can right-click and view source and see everything that you wrote. This is why it's generally a bad idea to store keys or secrets in the app, and it's why Twitter user Juan Carlos was worried. However, there is a tool that you can use called a minifier or an uglifier, which provides security through obscurity, since it makes your code completely unreadable. Unfortunately, that's not a true tool for security. You want to rely on Firebase authentication and Firebase security rules for protecting against unauthorized access. It's a great question though. Thanks, local alien. Moving right along, Dennis on Twitter is wondering, if I query with no filter, will I get one, only contacts I'm whitelisted to read, or two, all contacts? Well, Dennis, this depends on your security rules. As I said earlier, the real-time database is a JSON database. And when you query for your data at a certain location, you get all of the data at and below that location. So you would get all of your contacts. It's important to know rules are not filters. A read will either return all of the results if the read is allowed or none of them if it's rejected. That's true whether you query with a filter or without a filter. I'd recommend watching The Key to Firebase Security, one of our popular I.O. videos, for more on writing great security rules. Thanks, Dennis. Next up. A follow-up question from Dennis. Is there a multi-get function, like equal to an array of numbers? The use case, getting contacts that I'm whitelisted to read. Well, Dennis, you'll want to arrange your data in a way that you can perform a single read and get all of the data that you need. Imagine, instead of maintaining a full list of your contacts and querying to get the ones associated with you, imagine flipping that around and keeping a list of the contacts that you own 
on your user object. Happy hacking, Dennis. Great questions this week. Security is an important topic and I'm glad people are interested in it. When you have more questions, feel free to reach out to us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Stack Overflow, our Google group. We have a fax number, it's 650610. <laughs> Never mind. Using the hashtag Ask Firebase. Also, make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest Firebase content. And I hope to see you all in Berlin. Welcome to Fi uh, Take 16. Another question from Dennis. If there's a... Take 17. Great questions this week. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs>